Kimani. Susan Kimani. Uh, the father or somebody I knew. Um, then uh, my two principal secretaries and other principal secretaries present. Your Excellencies, Ambassadors, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jambo. Um, I will be very brief because uh, Madam Jogo has uh, spoken to the issues very well and uh, the President wants to have a one-to-one -one engagement and I do not want to eat into that time. I want to try and uh, shorten so that we can maximize on that interactive session. But uh, I'll just highlight one or two things. One, it is so significant that this event is taking place here when we are celebrating 60 years of independence. That is a critical milestone. The message here is that the Kenyan diaspora has truly come of age and it is therefore important that they take their rightful space in the development agenda of our country. A few days ago, I was in the UK um, and I had an opportunity to interact with the, the diaspora there. They are raring to go. They want their footprint broadened. And therefore, this gathering here will give us that opportunity to enable that to happen. My request to you is that we need your help to also inform debate on the local scene. Your Excellency, let me just pick one example, something called privatization, because our diaspora is really exposed to a lot of models of privatization, of partnership between the public sector and the private sector. We want you to be part of this robust debate that is taking place in Kenya today. Because for us to make sense out of anything, it has to be an informed debate. And your exposure on certain aspects contributes significantly to this. I was, maybe two weeks ago, as we were at the COP uh, event, led by His Excellency the President, one of the news items that was running was that the Saudi Investment Fund had taken up 12% shares in Heathrow Airport. The Saudi Investment Fund purchasing 12% of Heathrow Airport. Now, I bring this as a vivid example because as the Saudi invested, invest 12% in Heathrow Airport, have they uprooted it from London and taken it to Said Riyadh? It still remains an asset in the United Kingdom, but they are part of the profit process. We need to get our people to understand that when we talk about broadening the space, it's to bring in capital, to bring in technology, to bring in resources that you may not be able to raise on the local front. Now, it's this kind of engagement that I'll be putting across to you as members of the diaspora to enrich that debate on the local scene so that the broader aspects of us drawing capital and bringing in FDI can be seen from a broader perspective. We were having a light moment with the president here and somebody said, ah, why are you selling KICC? The government talked about privatization. 
they did not talk about disposal of KICC. Two distinct things. What would be wrong if part of the diaspora fund was to become a fund that invests the Kenyan diaspora fund becomes part of the partnership in actually commercializing the KICC operations, but it is also an investment that benefits you and benefits the people of Kenya. So these are some of the engagements that I would say that might be very, very useful uh, as, as, you, as you converse so that we help in enriching debate here and broadening exposure so that people don't start imagining that uh, the government of Kenya is uh, on uh, some kind of free-for-all disposal activity. That is not the case. Now, and therefore, the, as we talk about the other investment opportunities along, uh, please uh, think about these issues and figure out how you can perhaps help us uh, in making sure that the understanding is deeper, better, broader, and therefore we can move faster. With these few remarks, it is now my honor and duty to invite His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, to address us. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much, PCS. Please, let's take our seats. Asante Nisana.